Good afternoon, everybody. Jason here from Grip Tape. Wanted to give you a quick update with a new node and a quality of life improvement, uh, highlighting an add-on that somebody else created, which I think is pretty freaking awesome. It did cause me to make some changes to the nodes, but I hopefully caught everything so that it won't impact you guys at all. Anyway, the thing I wanted to show you today is, first of all, there is a new node in here called uh, Grip Tape Display Data as Text. And what this will let you do is hook this node up to any output of any of the nodes, and it will display whatever uh, that data is in a way that is uh, relatively easily readable. So normally you've been using the display text node to be able to see like the output of something. Uh, what this will let you do is let you see the output uh, in whatever format it is. So for example, if I wanna see everything about an agent, I could do that. And this shows me all the information about the agent. Or if I wanted to see what configurations are on this thing, I can run that and it will show me that I'm using the OpenAI structure config. Uh, if I want to see what tools are available, I can do that and it will show me that it's using the date time tool and I can see all the information about that and even the memory. We can go ahead and pop in here and see what the conversation memory is. So we'll talk about that in a second. It's super, super cool. Um, but one of the things that I wanted to actually show you is this really cool add-on over here called the Comfy UI end sidebar. This was pointed out to me by one of our users. Thank you very much for that. This is really cool. Uh, but what it lets you do is take any of your custom nodes and you have a sidebar where you can now just drag the nodes directly in and use them that way as opposed to having to right click, add node, etc. So this is super cool. If I clear my screen, if I wanna create an agent, I could just go over to the grip tape agents area. You'll see there's the create agent right here. As I hover over each of these nodes, it will display what the node is. You'll see all the inputs over there. So see that right over here. I'm not sure where that's gonna be on screen. Right here somewhere. It'll be around here somewhere. Um, but you can see uh, what all the inputs are, what the outputs are. You can even see a description of what the node is. What I had to do was go in and make sure all the nodes were named appropriately and that all of them had descriptions. So that is now new uh, with all the grip tape nodes. I also changed the organization a little bit. So you'll notice that we've got the agents over here on first. Uh, then we've got all the different configurations available to us. So I put all of those in one area. Previously, there was the agent helpers and the configurations and the rules were both in agent helpers. I split those out, so now it's agent configurations and agent rules are separate like that. Uh, and then I also took all of the display stuff and I put that into a single category. So instead of having the text display in the text area and the image display in the image area, now display is all in one spot. So hopefully it's a little bit easier to find things. Let me know uh, what you think in the comments below. Um, but let's go ahead and show you how this other display node works. So I am gonna go ahead and create a brand new agent. So we go over to our agent area and we just drag create agent out like this. And I could say, I want to do a hello, my name is Jason. Great, so we've got an agent. And as you know, we can then display the text for this. So if I go to display, display the text, I could just drag that out. Connect it, this is all stuff that you've seen before, right? So I create an agent, I run it, I get some output text and it says, hi, how can I assist you? And now I wanna give the agent uh, maybe a new configuration. So I go to my agent configs and you can see here, I've got all sorts of different configurations. Let's go ahead and choose Anthropic. So I'll drag this one in and we've got Claude 3.5 in here. So I'm just gonna drag that to my configuration. Um, and if I queue that, Claude may say something a little bit different. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Let's go ahead and also create a rule set. So we'll go to our rules and I'll say in here, let's give it a nice rule like, call it Grandma Zelda. And I'll say, you sometimes speak Yiddish. Food is your love language. And you could see, oy vey, they, hello there, Jason. So she responds, which is kind of cool. And then let's go ahead and just continue the conversation. So I will go over to my run agent, drag that one in, and let's drag this agent from here to here and say, give me a haiku about latkes. And let's go ahead and copy that, paste that here, and cue this prompt. And we've got a haiku about latkes. So you've seen this kind of stuff before, right? Where we take an agent configuration, we pass it to an agent, we give it some rules, we even give it some tools if we want, and then we can uh, display the text and we can have this agent pass things to this agent, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so you've seen all of that. What I wanna show you is how this new display data as text node works. It's very similar to the other display nodes, 
you just drag it out. And in fact, if I were just to connect it to text and I hit Q prompt, you would see exactly the same thing. It's just basically displaying this output as text right here. But the cool thing about this node is it can connect to anything. It doesn't have to just be a string. So if we were to, for example, take this configuration and we want to see like, well, what is in this configuration node? What is actually going on in there? And I queue this prompt, you'll see this is actually all of the information about the anthropic structure config. So it's got a prompt driver, it's got an embedding driver, a vector store driver. So you can see all sorts of really cool information about this just by connecting it and learn about it. Where it gets really fun though, is if we take the agent node and we go over to this uh, expand agent nodes here, drag this in, let's take this guy and we'll just bring it down over there. And we'll say, I'm super curious what configuration you are here. So, so here you can see if I look at the rule sets, we could see how those are being defined. So Grandma Zelda, what rules are there? Um, we could see what tools are involved. Right now there are no tools, so that's just gonna be blank. But we can also see the memory right here. So you can see this is a conversation memory and you can see all of the runs of the memory and how this all comes together. So I could see, you know, what the memory is that's going to be passed back to the agent when it runs again. So it's a handy little node. Definitely uh, more to come with that later. That is it for today. Hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you on the next one.